In this lesson, we're going to work with geocoding. Now, geocoding is taking addresses and giving them XY position. And we're going to do this completely within a Python script. You're going to find this code is a little bit longer than anything we've dealt with up to this point. And also, it's done in a little bit more formal method so that you can see how you would write all your variables before you actually get into doing the script. We've also included a piece of troubleshooting in there just to make sure that everything is working properly. So let's delve into the script. As you can see here, we've got the first three lines sort of the same that we've used in the past. We're getting this information from a file folder because notice it doesn't say um, .gdb on the end. So this is coming out of a file folder. If this was coming from a geodatabase, then it would have .gdb on the end. Then we're going to assign all our variables. And that way, by assigning our variables, we can easily make changes um, to the script so that we can look at it and use the script for a different purpose of geocoding. So our table, in this case, is in this file folder. Notice the extension, it's a CSV file. And so therefore, what we're doing is using basically a spreadsheet. It looks like a spreadsheet if we open it up in Excel, but it's actually a CSV file. So we've got this data that we're going to bring in. It's got address data, and we're going to add to it longitude and latitude and make it into a point shape file when we get all done with this. Well, these next couple lines here are not really needed down to the print statement there. What they're put in there for is a little bit of troubleshooting. So we're using a list field um, and we want to know what are those field headings inside this CSV file. And when this runs, it'll just give us a list of all those field headings. We use a for statement so that we go through and make sure each field heading is on a separate line. Again, this serves no functional purpose within the script for geocoding, but it helps us understand what's in the file and making sure that things are running properly. And then you see another variable called address fields. The address fields is what you do in geocoding when you say the geocoder is looking for this name. Here's the name that's in my file. And remember, we can't have any special characters in that field header. And we do that for all the different names. Some we leave with none in there because we don't have an address to, for example. So this is that variable that is going to pass that information. So we have address or place. And that's going to be our address one. And then you have to put visible none there. Then address two, we don't have an address two. So we have to put none, which is inside of brackets there. And we keep doing this. You'll see that we have um, different ones as we go through here. Um, some are none. Some are... Um, not none, depending on if like zip here is zip. So that one's just a direct. But all of them have visible noun listed on there. The ones we don't have has none listed in brackets. The one thing that we have done here is to see all of this code. I went and put some tabs in so that it is all visible to you. In general, you're not going to have... Um, this all in three lines like it's showing here. It's going to be one really long line, but I couldn't really display that on my screen. So then we continue with our variables. Geocode results. We give it what the name's going to be. Where's the locator file at? And we're using the world geocoding service from Esri. And so that's the complete pathway to where the geocoder is going to be, that our locator. We have to use a portal. We've got to sign in. If you don't have a sign in, you can't use this geocoder. So therefore, 
we have to know the portal. That's ArcGIS Online. Then I define my username and my password. My password's not all those X's. I just threw all those X's in to keep my password protected. So we define our username and password. And then we go sign in. And when we sign in, it's got three components. The portal, which is ArcGIS Online. The username and the password. And that's going to sign me in so it's going to authenticate and make sure it's me that I have permissions to sign in. And then the next functional line of code is geocode addresses. And there's all my different variables. Address table, that's the CSV file. The locator file, that is up here, the pathway. The address field, what field are we looking at? Well, the address field is all this comparisons between my naming and the naming that Esri's geocoder is looking for. Address field. What address field do I want to look at? Geocode results. That's the name of the file that I'm calling colleges underscore geocoding to. So we got all these different fields. And when we get all done, we delete these variables. And we'll talk more about the DEL statement in a future module. So this is the process of doing geocoding. Again, to try to make it a little bit better, we went on and established all the variables at the beginning. The other thing that we have done, we put this for loop in just to make sure it's running properly, that we're really getting to that CSV file. And that's not needed. That area could be completely eliminated with the for statement. That is not a needed area. So this is how you do geocoding with our Python script.